Well, since you uh, asked for intelligent atheists, learned, degreed, gone to college, critical thinking, free thinking atheists to answer these five so-called questions of yours, uh, I feel I should respond in kind. First question you asked about, I don't know. It didn't make sense. It wasn't a question. It was your opinion of something. What was the question you were asking? Should I go back? Nope. Nope. That's not it. Nope. Not a question. Question number two. Now the soliloquy, your little deal about chance and all this and mistaking, coining the phrase wrong and you don't even know what God of the Gaps is. You, it's something you Christians made up anyway, you dumbasses. <laughs> Question number three. You know what? I kind of, like, didn't understand. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't, I cannot fathom what the questions are. I still don't know what the questions you're asking. <laughs> you have no questions. I'll ask you one. Let me ask you five questions. You seem intelligent. Did you go to college? Liberty College? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Did you go to Oral Roberts University College? I don't know. Do you actually have critical thinking skills? Can you think freely and independently of the Bible? Can you? Because everything that you said are pretty much paraphrases from some uh, Pat Robertson or Billy Graham or one of them other people because they quote the Bible a lot too. All you do is, is I don't even know if you're quoting the Bible to the truth because you're not making sense. The Bible at least tries to make sense. Tries to fool you into believing it's making sense. And say, <laughs> like virgin birth. Like, you know, somebody couldn't just knock her out and then inseminate her and take off. You don't have to have some God do it. Some aliens could have came down and did that. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Oh, you guys, just because you don't understand science, you think it had to be magic. Well, that's what I get out of it. How else could it be? I mean, you're saying that he's that it's a creator. You're saying there's this design, this intelligent, super omnipotent, omniscient magician in the sky that just created everything in seven days seven days I don't care how you want to describe your freaking days it's stupid so just shut up for a minute it's my answer to your stupid known questions here's my question where did that God come from oh no 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 you don't get away with always was and always will be you can't get away with that you can't quote the Bible it's bullshit where did your God come from by chance? <laughs> Random? By accident? <laughs> Come on, man. By the way, <clears throat> let me ask you a question and do another one. Just one more question, okay? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> this is going to be hard. You're not going to. Okay. If Jesus is the Son of God, then he's pretty much God incarnated, right? That's what you believe, correct? And you know as well as I do that alcohol is a poison. I mean, you know, and God would know that alcohol is a poison. Do you really believe that this God would turn water into wine for a bunch of drunks in the Middle East, in the middle of the desert, when they need water? <laughs> you know, it's just one more question. Okay. How about this one? Do you honestly think that your magical being sat up there and said, I'm going to tell this guy Abraham down here that I created a little creature that really doesn't make any difference with in my life, that he needs to take his little baby, baby boy and cut off a piece of his penis or I'm not going to make fun with him and let him play with my house. <laughs> huh?
you believe that one too? Man, dude. Wake up and smell the coffee. You don't have to have that stuff. Why do you why do you think you have to have some kind of magician that created everything? Why is it so necessary to you? And science is pretty pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It's just science, man. It's just us. We're just here. I don't get it. What is your desire? Why do you feel that you have to be controlled by this super being? I got a super powered super friend. He's my superhero. Yeah, you're a superhero worshiper, man. You and all your buddies. Get a grip. Answer some real questions. Like, for instance, why are you dumber than most people? How can you read something and just totally dismiss it because you think some magician went zap? Tell me how you dismiss real science in favor of a super being, of a superhero. Tell me how you do that. How do you dismiss rational, reasonable thinking, critical skills and thinking in lieu of a magician? How do you do that? I mean, how do you, how do you have a magician? And I got magic. I don't care. <laughs> Where do we come from? I got magic. That's all you have to say. I have a superhero. That's all you got to say. Like that's what you are saying. And you're bragging about it every day. I got a superhero. What the fuck? Millions of you are bragging about that delusion. Man, stop it. Get a life. <laughs> Later. Oh, I'm Gerald Reynolds. Just an earthling, though. In Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Good night, dumbass.